Kate and Prince William will need real courage as they set foot in the U.S. next month for the first time since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, according to a commentator. Journalist Celia Walden hit out at the decision by the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Organization to award the 2022 Ripple of Hope Award to Meghan and Prince Harry. Carrie Kennedy, the daughter of late Senator Kennedy and niece of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy, revealed earlier this month the Duke and Duchess had been chosen as recipients of the gong because of their heroic stance against structural racism within the firm. Meghan and Harry, Miss Kennedy said, went to the oldest institution in UK history and told them what they were doing wrong. The pair, Miss Kennedy also said while referring to her father's visit to apartheid South Africa in 1966, showed a rare moral courage by challenging the royal family's power structure. However, Ms. Walden suggested the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who launched allegations of racism and neglect against the firm during their sit-down with Ms. Winfrey broadcast in March last year, publicly shamed the royal family with their claims and damaged its reputation. Kate and Prince William last visited the U.S. in 2014. Image, Getty, Kate and Prince William during a walkabout in September with Meghan and Harry. Image, Getty. As a consequence, it will take real courage from the Prince and Princess of Wales as they are the first members of the royal family to travel in an official capacity stateside since Meghan and Harry's interview aired, Ms. Walden said. She wrote in the Telegraph, After all, this won't just be the future King and Queen Consort's first official trip to the country since 2014, but the first since the 2021 primetime royal annihilation which effectively branded the then Duchess of Cambridge a bully and left the monarchy's reputation in tatters. Imagine trying to hold your head up high as you undertake your many engagements, showcasing issues that include climate change, vulnerable young people, and green tech, when your own family and everything it stands for has been so publicly shamed. That will demand real courage. Prince William and Kate will be in Boston on December 2 to attend the second award ceremony of the Earthshot Prize, the initiative launched by the Prince of Wales in October 2020. Read more, Meghan and Harry getting too big for ambitions as guests to pay $1 million Kate and Prince William will be in Boston on December 2, Image, Getty, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey was aired in March, 2021, Image, Getty. The prize, which will award over the course of a decade five £1 million grants each year to those presenting the best workable solutions to the planet's most pressing issues, is tightly linked to the Kennedys. William was inspired by President Kennedy's moonshot, which challenged the U.S. to put a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s, for his initiative. Moreover, the John F. Kennedy Library Foundation partnered up with the prize to bring its second award ceremony to Boston. Only four days after this ceremony, Meghan and Harry are expected in New York City to collect their Ripple of Hope Award. Don't miss Mike Tyndall's eye-watering net worth unveiled as he heads into jungle, analysis, Mike Tyndall loses it with Matt Hancock UBL asterisk die do it report Meghan Markle mystery as NBC backtrack over interview with Duchess, insight, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expected to attend the Ripple of Hope Award Gala, image, Getty, trending the Sussexes, who have been living in California since the spring of 2020, have not publicly confirmed their attendance at the event. People who want to attend this gala can buy tickets reportedly priced up to £840,000. This gong had been given in the past to former U.S. President Barack Obama and anti-apartheid leader Archbishop Desmond Tutu among others. Among other recipients this year is Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who has been led his country in the fight against Russia's invasion since February.